So welcome, welcome to another session of Everyday Mathematics. Here at Everyday Mathematics, as we always say, we do enjoy solving the harder problems, but above all, we also see and appreciate the beauty and the simpler problems. So today's uh, problem comes from the MIT uh, 2020 for integration B, semifinals number two, and uh, the last problem is of problem of focus, which is problem number four. Now, our problem is uh, the indefinite integral of uh, the product of tangent uh, of x and sec squared x and cosine 2x and e to the power 2 to the, uh, cosine x. So the first thing that we would do here is one, um, we would like to decompose the, uh, the double angle formulation. The cosine 2x now can be decomposed to a single angle formulation, which is uh, cosine squared x minus sine squared x. And then we'll keep the other terms as they are. And we know sec squared x is the same as uh, 1 over cosine uh, squared x. So when this cosine squared x gets multiplied across, uh, that becomes uh, tangent x times in bracket 1 minus tan squared or tangent squared x times e to the power 2 cosine x. Now this tangent squared x can be expressed as sec squared x minus 1. So uh, when we simplify things further, so we have tan x times in bracket 2 minus sec squared x times e to the power cosine x. Uh, continuing further, um, so when we multiply uh, tangent x across and also e to the power 2 uh, cosine x, we have now a 2 tan x to the power uh, tan x times e to the power 2 cosine x minus tan x times x squared x times e to the power 2 cosine x. Now, um, what we can see here, tangent x can also be expressed as sine x times a 1 over cosine x or 1 uh, or sec squared uh, sec x. So this expression 2 tan x uh, e to the power 2 x can be expressed as 2 sine x sec x times e to the power 2 cosine x. Now, um, this term and this term here can be expressed as the derivative of negative e to the power 2 cosine x since when we differentiate e to the power 2 cosine x the same as e to the power uh, cosine x times the derivative of 2 cosine x which is uh, negative 2 cosine uh, sine x so this here can be expressed as this and then this second term here is the same as the derivative of sec squared x so this is very interesting. Um, now, um, one important thing to note is that when you differentiate a product of two functions, uh, u and v, then that is the same as the, pro, uh, the sum of, um, for example, u times the derivative of uh, v and v times the derivative of u. Right, uh, so we can create a scenario whereby uh, we have this expression and this expression um, come to be represented as uv. So what I've done here is since we have the derivative of negative e to cosine x, this is the same as negative the derivative of e to the power two cosine x. Um, and then we don't have derivative of sec x, we can create a phantom uh, or an imaginary uh, scenario where we have the product of uh, e to the power 2 cosine x and derivative of sec x. And so we uh, create another uh, expression that is opposite in sign so that they could cancel out. Uh, so essentially this is zero, uh, but we're going to make sure that this and this interact and then the same thing we do for the second uh, part here. So, um, and uh, I apologize. So this is the same as a half of the derivative of sec squared x. So we've kept that there. So this is half times the derivative of sec squared x times e to the power cosine x. And then uh, we keep that ne negative a half sec squared x and the derivative of e to the power cosine x. And then we have applied the same function, but opposite in sign. So this and this would cancel out and, you know, take us back here. However, um, so we can have this and this interact. So we have a scenario where we have negative uh, the derivative of e to the power cosine x times sec cosine sec x. 
and then the second part here remains. And the same thing here, we have half times the derivative of e to the power cosine x, x squared x, and this um, last part remains. So um, let's um, let's continue. So what happens next is that we're going to show that this here uh, is going to cancel out with this. And how we do that is we we go ahead and uh, expand the derivation of um, the derivative or differentiation of sec x. So uh, sec x is the same as tan x sec x. And then when we differentiate it the power two cosine x, um, this is the same as negative two sine x e to the power cosine x. Now sec squared x is the same as uh, one, um, the same as um, one over cosine x times sec x. And as we continue uh, with our process, uh, we see that this and here interact, so we have tan x and this half and two interact, so we have a negative one and then we have sec x. So um, what this results into is a negative tan x uh, sec x in the power cosine x. And we see that this one here uh, cancelled out with this. And so we are left with the integration of the derivative of e to the power, negative uh, e to the power, 2 cosine x times sec x, uh, and then minus the half the derivative of e to the power cosine x, sec squared x. Right. So there is a, a dx here. We forgot to include that. And if we're de uh, integrating the derivative of these functions, uh, what that means is that the, um, the integration of this is just the same as uh, these functions. Right? So we have the answer being uh, negative e to the power 2 cosine x, sec x minus half e to the power 2 cosine x, sec squared x. And so a more um, neater expression of that is negative in bracket sec x plus sec squared x over 2 times e to the power cosine x, obviously, plus the integration constant c. So this is the answer. Um, it was interesting. Um, thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Um, we appreciate your your support, uh, our subscribers. Uh, we don't take your support for granted. Uh, for those of you who are here for the first time, haven't subscribed, please uh, do us a favor and hit the subscription button. Uh, and for those of us who haven't yet subscribed but are here uh, for the second or third time, we do really encourage you to consider subscribing. Until next time, uh, bye.